So we have another example for finding the derivative of algebraic function. So example number four, we have y is equal to x negative four plus three over x. So first line, dy over dx d dx of x negative 4 plus 3 x negative 1 because when we are going to bring up x as a numerator that is equivalent to 3 x negative 1 okay so therefore we will have d dx of x negative 4 plus 3 d dx of x negative 1 so therefore you will have negative 4 x negative 4 minus 1 derivative of x without exponent minus okay, you have heard 3 times negative 1 okay x negative 1 minus 1 derivative of x without exponent so therefore you will have negative 4 x negative 5 cancel minus 3 x negative 2 cancel so that is now your dy dx that is the answer so we will have another example so we will have another example that is number five we will have number five so number five okay number five y is equal to two x cubed plus the square root of x okay so still find dy dx so therefore you will have first line you will have dy dx d dx of 2x cubed plus x raised to one half okay since since the square root of x square root of x that is equivalent to x raised to one half if you will have cube root of x that is equivalent to x raised to one third okay so therefore find the derivative for 2 derivative of x cubed plus d dx of x raised to one half so after that one you will have 2 times 3 x cubed minus 1 derivative of x without exponent plus one half x one half minus one derivative of x without exponent so therefore you will have six x squared cancel plus one half x negative 
one half because one half minus one that is equivalent to negative one half you could express or you can express your answer as 6x squared plus 1 over 2 the square root of x okay because okay, you will have that is now your answer dy dx so note here we have a note we have a note here that x negative one half you can bring that as one over x raised to one half which is equivalent to one over the square root of two sorry the square root of x sorry the square root of x that's the reason you will have the square root of x here okay